going shavers randy here with atlas shaven and today it's going to be another veteran shave but this time we're not going to use a veteran soap we're going to talk about a veteran company um for the watch today we have the g-shock solar definitely one of my favorite watches since you don't have to replace the battery it's also radio so it can self set the time and it checks every so often. For the razor, we're gonna be using the Gillette, the Kingsley Gillette to be more precise. It's got the cool head on it. All right, we got it taken apart. And then for the blade, we're gonna use a Derby. And then for the brush, we're going to be using a Badger Lather and Wood. And for the soap, this one I've used several times. Um, this is the Amber Colonel Conk. <sighs> Which I do like the smell of. It's got kind of a cloney smell. Nope, turned up that way. And then for the aftershave, today we're gonna go with a little classic Old Spice. And then we do have the mustache going. Very nice, very nice, very, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and assemble the razor. I had a blade in here, but I couldn't remember how many shaves I had on it, so. Swap to a new one. Throw that on there. And the base plate only goes on one direction. And this one actually typically lines up pretty well. All right, we got that started. And then we'll grab the soap. And you can take these Colonel Conk soaps, they're glycerin based. You can actually take a mug. Um, it could be a shaving mug or any kind of mug. This is the mug I typically um, mix my soap up in. But you can take and take this out of here, put it in a microwave and melt the soap into a mug so it takes the shape of the mug i'm not gonna do that i typically just shave out of here probably should have put a little bit of water in there but like usual i forgot so we'll swirl that around I wish Colonel Conk, I don't think they do. I have to check again, but I wish they made larger containers that you can mix in. Like I said, you can put this in. Take some of the excess soap in my bowl. Brush a little too much water on it. We got Thanksgiving coming up this week hope everybody has a safe Thanksgiving with everything going on got my hair a little Some good news and some bad news. Good news is my Instagram account is back up. So I went ahead and I didn't even know it. They didn't send me an email saying it was active until I got another email saying, hey, someone's trying to log into your account from Russia. Well, obviously, I'm not in Russia. So 
went ahead and turned on two-factor authentication. So hopefully I don't get hacked again. So that's good, but now I gotta play catch up and I got about four or five Instagram posts I need to put up. I'll try to do that today. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you can do that. Definitely have a lot more followers on there than on YouTube because the Instagram typically grows a little faster. I don't think I've showed what the King C. Gillette with a little bit more hair on my face, so we'll see how that goes. I also need to continue my short videos. I think I said that in the last one. I've just been really tired when I get home from work. Work's been super busy. So the company I'm going to talk about, well, we'll talk about the bad news first. I just found out um, a guy that I used to go to church with passed away. He was younger than me. Really great guy. He had uh, pancreatic cancer. And I really hate how Facebook doesn't notify you of everyone's post. They, they basically notify you who they think you would like. So I did not know until I saw someone else post that he had passed away. I didn't even know he had cancer. So that's sad. Really hate when anyone passes away too young. Like I said, I think he was pretty sure he was younger than me or around the same age. So about the company, the veteran owned company is Lead Fiddle Guitars, which I've talked to the guy and basically I really like what he's doing. So what he does is I, I play guitar and I've played guitar since I was 20. is he makes custom guitars. And then he takes the profits from the guitars that people buy and makes guitars for disabled veterans. They can't afford it. So that was really cool. Now how I met him was through another friend, another veteran. And basically I have a friend that drives a sprint car. For the, oh, what's it called? Carolina Sprint Tour. And I came up with an idea to put some veteran sponsors for four or five races and sponsor veterans for free. And he was one of the guys that I had talked to about it. He's super excited. Downfall was we didn't get to do it this year. My buddy's not time. But we're definitely going to do it next season. And the guy's a super cool guy. I talked to him on the phone. 
Like I said, I really like what he's doing. And I'll put some pictures up on the screen of some of his guitars. So definitely check out his website. He's really active on Instagram. So if you follow him on Instagram, sometimes he'll do, go live or he'll post pictures of guitars he's working on. And you can check them out. I think they're really cool. And you definitely have to have a lot of talent to build guitars. I tried to create a guitar from a kit one time. Which the, the, the looks of it turned out fine. Playing wise, whole another story. For one, it was a cheap kit. And typically how guitars work, if you've never played guitar, the cheaper guitars typically have high action. They'll have cheaper pickups, just don't sound as good. They'll have cheaper tuners. Tuners are the little knobs on the end that you basically use to tune the string strings. And when you have cheap tuners, a lot of times they don't like to stay in tune. But they can literally go out of tune while you're playing. But I just wanted to try my hand at it. So, but him, on the other hand, he's had some great guitars. Really cool. And you can also talk to him if you want a custom guitar made. It's like all kernel conk stuff, really smooth. Or really slick, I should say. I'll give you an update on the, uh, I think last time I mentioned my the vehicle I just bought a month ago was in the shop. So they're saying it needs an ECU. And the ECU is on back order. So good thing it happened now and not in the spring. Bad thing about the back order, they don't know when it's gonna come in. Which means I have no idea. And of course, it's not going to be cheap. You can buy that same ECU refurbished where they coat it and everything for a quarter of the price the dealer has it for. But what happens if they install the ECU or let's say I get it towed to somewhere, install the ECU and then it just fries it again. Well then I'm out and I have to get it towed back. So I am going to pay for them to fix it. That way if they fry it. then don't have to replace it. And it's not my main it's not my main vehicle, so it's not a big deal. I always it seems like I always miss a spot right there. Which I would never notice, but my wife notices.
mustache always stands up more. I had someone commented that I should keep the mustache. The only issue I have is a lot of times with the mask, no one can see it anyway. So you're the only one who knows you has it other than the wife, which doesn't care for it. And the other thing is the mask really irritates the hair being over it. Let's see. We'll go ahead and trim. Trim it off the lip. I'm not really going to trim the length. Let it curse more. Like it. Not a bad. And then I have this uh, uh, beard balm that you can use on it. And what it is, if you have hairs that straggle and want to point everywhere, like a lot of times after you shower, just like your hair on your head, they want to go everywhere. You can throw this on there. And then you take your little you have a little mustache brush. This one's almost not long enough to use it right now, but. You got a nice straight mustache. All right, aftershave. Like I said, Old Spice. And I'll have links to everything in the descriptions. If you don't realize, every video I post, man, put a little much on there. I post links to all the stuff. That way you can, ooh, there's a little. That way you can click on them if you're interested. I did notice they quit. It looks like, I don't know if they quit or they're just out of stock online, but the Rockwell Razor, they sell the 6C on Amazon, but they don't sell the Rockwell 6S. So I started putting a link straight to their website. Well, that concludes this shave. Hope everybody has a great week and happy shaving.